purpose of this video is to help you develop a renovation project brief for your dream renovation. Are you excited about your new renovation project? Are you buzzing with ideas, but want to bring structure and clarity to your thinking? Then consider drafting a renovation project brief. That sounds good, but what is it? Well, a renovation project brief helps you to formulate your requirements and wishes in a document which can be shared with potential architects and building companies. That makes sense. So why is it useful? The renovation project brief is useful because you have to be clear on what you want before you can explain it to others. It helps you focus on what is important to you when you and your loved ones may have different ideas. You can refer back to it when making decisions during the process and hopefully it speeds up the discussions with the architects and the building company. So what should I include? Well, we work with the following sections vision and mission, key objectives and priorities, what success looks like for us, a full list of structural and design wishes, our guiding design principles, and potential challenges and barriers. Now let's explain these in a little more detail. To write your vision for the renovation, you need to explain what you would like the property to become in the future. It means describing the ideal state for your property. This may differ depending on whether it is a family home or a second home you will rent out to guests. As our property will be for family, friends and selected rental, we described how we would like people to feel in the space and the impact it has on them as an overall context. The mission describes more concretely what you are working towards achieving, why and for whom. In our mission, we outlined how we envisage the space and location to be used and for which different groups we will be offering the property to. We connected this to the benefits we hope people will feel from spending time in our property. In Objectives and Priorities, it is helpful to bullet point list exactly what you would like to achieve with the property. For example, creating a flexible family home space for a family of four to six people ready to move into within the next 18 months. Not exceeding a budget of a certain sum. Ensuring all of the property is fully accessible via ramps and lifts. And if sustainability in the environment is important to you, potentially you could add an objective around achieving certain government energy targets. If you can, it's a good idea to try to explain what success looks like to you in terms of your renovation project. The full list of wishes per room, floor and for how the exterior could look is the detailed what. Here you can list out your essentials for each room or floor, as well as the nice-to-haves. You may want to include things like number of bathrooms and bedrooms, balconies, terraces and outside space, changes to windows and doors, changes to roof and attic space, the number of fireplaces, how to distribute the living and cooking space, your home office requirements, any accessible fittings, for example a lift, and the use of specific materials. It's helpful to organise these according to structural elements, interiors and materials. But remember, you may not be able to achieve your full list. The key design principles are guiding principles you would like applied to your renovation. For example, using energy efficient and environmentally friendly building practices. Maximising space efficiency and number of rooms. Working within a low cost, mid range, or luxury finish by budget. You can also include principles around overall design look and feel, for example, contemporary or classic. In potential barriers and challenges, state any specific obstacles you foresee in the process. This could be a delay on a start date, perhaps due to other commitments, or limits on the amount of budget you have. Be clear so you managed expectations with the building company and architects. Are you feeling inspired and creative? If you have been collecting images or ideas for your house renovation, you could share some of them as part of the briefing pack. We shared a mirror board with a project team to help them visualise how we would like the exterior and interior to look. I had sections for overall colour scheme, materials and inspiration per room. 
If you feel like sketching out some of your ideas, go ahead. Project teams really appreciate it when clients try to communicate their vision clearly. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what the architects are for later in the process. Most importantly, have fun enjoying this stage of the process where you explore all your ideas for the renovation. If you would like to share your renovation journey with us or have questions, reach out to us here via our contact.